Resident Evil. I want the full thing this time. I want, I want, I want the full Code Veronica game loading experience today. The whole Dreamcast experience, because hopefully this will be the last episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mio X Phil. Explicit violence and gore. By this point, I'm pretty sure we've come to expect that, Capcom. We'll skip the intro, though. We've seen that. Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Resident Code Veronica. Evil. I know I left the last episode on kind of a uh, cliffhanger. I said I'd see you guys in a minute. It's been a bit longer than a minute. <laughs> For both you and myself. I actually went back and replayed a bit of the game going back to before the Steve fight. Well, fight. Before the running away from Steve. The running of the Steves. And, well, I decided, Claire, you don't really need those submachine guns. And I have a feeling they're going to be more useful to me than they are to you. So I grabbed them. Unfortunately, although you can see that my I have been very careful with my healing items and I have half an inventory full of them. And don't worry, I have more waiting for me at the supply chest. Unfortunately, I could have gotten another uh, healing spray, but I was foolish enough to just mash A while I was getting it and I didn't have the inventory space, so I ended up just topping off, topping off my health. It wasn't a big deal. I was running risks, risks anyway. I was down to danger at that point. So let's see. Do I need all of these? Oh no, I can't take all of these. I need the security card. <laughs> Alright, so three mixed herb with double healing and poison removal. It's gonna be pretty helpful for those little guys that poison me. No, it's the spit that poisons me. Poins poisons me. The magnum. Definitely what we're gonna need. I didn't mean to do that. Submachine gun, and you know what? Shotgun for good measure. Because that'll help us with those little mini triffids, I feel. That Alexia's been spawning around our feet. Alright, so this is it, guys. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to defeat the game at this point. Trying to decide whether I should run or, or walk doesn't really matter. Let's just get this over with. I'm hoping it was a good choice to get the submachine guns. I've already taken care of the guys in this room. You know what? I'm going to take a second, though. Because there's that guy down by the reactors or whatever. Is there any way to get down to him, or is he just there for, uh... <laughs> oh, well, the engineer! He's he's turned as well! No, it doesn't look like there is. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Anyway... Have fun, Mr. Zombie. Oh no! I've gotta enter a code! I wonder if I can remember what it is. <laughs> is it... Alexia? I bet it's... Alfred! I bet it's... Claire! <laughs> I bet it's Rebecca Chambers! Nah. It's code... it's Veronica. And really, if this is the last the last video I'm going to be making, I want to talk about that. Because that having, well, the code is part of the title for the last this puzzle, even though we'll pretty much told it. Five. It's pretty indicative of how I feel about All most of this game. 
It's tough, yeah, but the puzzles aren't that tough. There are a couple, like the paperweight puzzle. Uh, That's about it. That's all I can think of that was actually difficult or off the top of my head. There was probably another one though, and like, hmm, I gotta actually scratch my head about this. But most of the puzzles, it was like, no, use the same thing that you have in the room with you. The electricity puzzle was different as well. Of course. Come on. Let's get out of here. We will get out of here. I'm gonna skip the cutscene again. Because you know what? We've seen it already. Oh no! You could just totally jump over that. Take that, Alexia. You. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> I meant to use that earlier. And now I've missed the opportunity. <laughs> oh boy. Now yeah, let's watch the transformation sequence. Eh, yeah, whatever. We'll be seeing it plenty of times anyway. Alright, so I'm just gonna try and wail on her the best I can. I'm gonna start mashing A now. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a few shots. We'll squeeze off a few rounds before she gets going with the spawning of her little triffid babies. That's five. See, I can count. I've watched plenty of westerns and counted as they loaded their revolvers. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm lying, but... Ah! Good dodge! Chris? <laughs> By being pushed around? Alright, so that's it for Magnum Ammo. Let's see if the submachine gun does any wonders. Oh, that wasn't good. At this point, I'm hoping I can just ignore those guys. Yeah, still on caution. Oh, it's not looking good. <laughs> oh, it's almost... It's ludicrous, the, what the, just the way they're pushing me. Okay, let's get a, rid of a couple of them. Oh, jeez. Okay. They're starting to do some actual damage. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> Again, it's absolutely ludicrous the way I'm being pushed around like this, but... Come on. Oh, there we go! Hey! Did enough damage, it looks like. Cool! Alright. I think we've got an herb left. Fantastic. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I cannot wait. Is this a third form? Or a second form, or whatever? Second form for this fight, I guess. <laughs> oh, great! Well, Chris, hope you like, uh... being one of those street performers, like the guy with a face full of bees or something like that. Oh, there we go! Alright. Now we can finally, uh... Oh. What, flying? Gee, uh, well, um... I'm not sure what I can do about that, but, uh... Let's see what magic we got up our sleeve. Oh, we're fine, whatever. Ah! Oh, infinite ammo! Fuck yes! Oh! It, first per- okay. I was not expecting it to be first person. <laughs> oh, come on. Darn it! Okay, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> now we're still on caution. I'm gonna wait until it's the orange caution, at least. Oh, damn it! Okay, now I'm gonna lose it. Stand still! Or fly still! Okay, I'm... wow. Oh, that's not fair. So you're just gonna keep spitting until you hit me. Oh no. Okay. That's better. Let's keep running, keep running! I actually gotta be smart now. Come on. Just one hit, I think. Is that what you, it usually is with the rocket launcher with these guys? God damn, she got me anyway. 
Darn it. <laughs> oh, careful there. Damn, I'm off by like... Oh, there we go! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that was a good boss fight. Okay. Except that, that last part was fun. Oh, jeez. Careful, Chris. We don't have a... We don't have a... We don't have an herb left. Chris, where are you? One second, Chris. Uh, one second, Claire. I'm busy melting the Antarctic. I'm busy burning this place to the ground. You know, like every place that I ever go to. <laughs> Keep my promises. <laughs> Is that the best you could come up with, Chris? Come on, you had that entire elevator right. You knew what was gonna happen. You knew you were gonna get blown out of there, but you couldn't think of a better one liner? Come on. Promise me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. I'm sorry, Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. You mean Yeah. It's payback time. We've gotta destroy Umbrella. Now. Let's finish this once and for all! We've got a jet. Let's be terrorists and blow up an international corporation. <laughs> oh, man. Also, what what the hell? Chris, are you Canadian now, too, with your story? <laughs> so... As far as I understand, wasn't this the, uh, the last... in the, uh... Ooh. interesting credit music, but if I'm... correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't this the last in the sort of first story arc of the Resident Evil games? Like, there was no taking it to Umbrella after this. Like, I know they had Resident Evil Zero and some Resident Evil Survivor games, but... This, this story never actually finished the arc, so far as I know, correct? I don't know, tell me. <laughs> this credit music is... okay. Ah, oh, man, what a game. Okay, so... I like it, first of all. I gotta say, I mean, I've gone through the entire game, of course I like it. It's a bit more serious than I was expecting, especially as... Even Resident Evil 2 kind of kept the, a, lot, a bit of the silly things that Resident Evil 1 had. But gameplay-wise, gameplay it was a lot more fun. Especially, well... There wasn't the same scarcity. I know everybody was like being, telling me, like, Oh, you gotta make sure you don't waste your ammo, you'll need it! And it's like, yeah, and I know not to waste my ammo. I played through the first two games. Those ones you don't waste your ammo. This one is like... You get three percent weapons that I didn't even use up a single one of them. <laughs> oh, man, Wesker, what happened to you? You just disappeared afterwards, like a ghost. Was it all just our imagination all along? <laughs> These are like the kind of photos that you get from like a photo booth in front of a movie theater. <laughs> oh. I don't know, it's it's pretty much a tie with uh, two right now. One's definitely my favorite. Because that one was actually scary. This one is like, eh. Like I know some people were saying like, yeah, but when I played this as a kid, it would freak me the hell out. Like, yeah, that's fine. You're playing it as a kid. I'm not playing it as a kid. I'm playing it as an adult, and for me, it's not really scary. Like, there are scary bits, but it's not really frightening in the same capacity that the first one was. And that's the same complaint I had with two. Anyway. Aw, oh, look at them. Shopping outside, fragrance outlet, and what is that? Sturk and Bro Burger. 
and meets Paul. <laughs> I like how it, it's pretty much like a real life picture that they kind of blurred a little. Okay, no, no, okay, it's not a real life picture. Like, some of those are definitely. I don't know, the people look like they're, they're, they're real people, like scan and the, the color depth lowered and then just put into the picture, like copy pasted. <laughs> yeah, let's let's bring the wait, let's bring the fight back to Umbrella. Go shopping. <laughs> this is the next uh, Resident Evil game. Claire and uh, Chris take on Fifth Avenue, New York. Yeah, a D. I didn't fail. Fifteen, almost fifteen hours. Well, it's blind, what can I say? Battle game! Battle game! Oh my god! Battle game! Evil. I gotta find out what this battle game is! Oh shoot. One second. Of course, I gotta put the... I gotta put the first disc in. Wow, it's been so long. Uh, that is not Resident Evil Code Veronica, that is Illbleed. <laughs> By the way, if you like creepy haunted carnivals and you like Dreamcast games, check out Illbleed. It's not the best game, but it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm absolutely terrible about it. I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I mean, come on, what's new with me and horror games. <laughs> the only horror game I'm good at is uh, Silent Hill, because you don't need to be good at it. Am I right? Aw oh, man, battle game, I can't wait. Aw oh, man. So we can either get combat knife, handgun, bow gun, handgun bullets, and four herbs. That's not the ID number that she had in uh, the beginning, is it? Hmm. You know, I, I was really hoping that the uh, type O, the blood type O, was gonna play a hand in this, but... Oh. My god. We can play as Steve. Yeah, like, he's got type AB, which means... What is it? He can only accept type AB and O, right? No, A, B can take anything. O can only take O. And so on. I think that depends on whether they're O positive or O negative. Anyway, we're gonna play Steve. Motherfucking Steve. Because we got, like... F oh, first... Whoa, jeez. We only played for, like, ten seconds of Steve. I want some, lo some more time. Oh, my God. This is insane. Alright, let's try out the gold losers, how about? Okay, there's no one behind. Jeez! <laughs> well, this is what I'm talking about. Oh man, if I could have played the game as like, like this, this would have been ridiculous. Oh, no. <laughs> let's figure out how to move first. Fortunately, I got an infinite ammo. <laughs> Oh man, I love this. This is fantastic. Oh, I gotta find out if I can run. Can I? Oh yeah, I can run. All right. Wait, what's family picture? Oh man, I never got to see this. Wait, what? Okay, got no. It's so hard to rotate these things in these. Wait, wait. Well. That's Steve's family upside down. <laughs> One second. No, okay, that's Steve off on the off on the left. For a second I was like, who's the who's the red-headed kid? But I guess he's got sort of a reddish brown hair. There we go. There there we go. Well, I got it back to where it was. Uh cool, we never got to see that in the Okay, we still gotta go up the stairs in first person, I guess. Hey, it's still first person. Be funny if it 
jump to third person just for the stairs. Okay, let's... Well, that was a waste. Bam! 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 Okay, uh... I think I know where we are. Is Steve, like, the easy mode? Oh man, it, no, like seriously, if, if the game had been like this for the entirety, I would have actually been able to play it because, well, as you can see, I'm used to first person, <laughs> I'm used to first person games. What, I must defeat the monster? What? What the hell are you talking about, Steve? The monster. I'm used to first-person games, so this is like, hey, I know exactly what I'm doing. What monster? It's locked. So, what are we doing here? Yes, I know you said you must defeat the monster. <laughs> Did I already... Did I already screw up to a point of no return? Was this even tested by Capcom? Yeah, I know it's locked. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Come on. They're all dead. Am I the monster? Oh. Well then. Is that good enough for you, Capcom? I need enough. You guys saw it. I walked over that guy like five times and nothing happened, so... Yeah, great these guys again. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it goes to third person when I get hit like that. That's ridiculous, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just use my peripheral vision to kill this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I might actually be playing this game a bit more just for this mode. Oh man. Because isn't this what Resident Evil Survivor was like? Except it's not terrible. <laughs> I'm only gonna go for a few more minutes or until I die. I'm not even gonna use the healing items. Maybe they're bosses. I hope so. Oh, those exploding zombies. My favorites. Oh no, that's a thing. Oh, we're in the Antarctic base. I guess. Okay. Seriously, what's up with the zombies with the red eyes? I haven't been reading comments because I don't want to spoil anything for myself, but what's up with those guys? Oh no, we had to take the gems, now we can't get the things from the lion. No. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna have to deal with the bugs? Oh! Get off! <laughs> this is really fun, actually. I'm really glad I decided to try it. <laughs> oh man, like that would have actually made some of this scary. Like you just open the door and there's a zombie right there. You know what it feels like? You know what this feels like? It feels like uh feels like what what's that fucking game? Um Oh shoot. What's that game? With the light guns and you always see them at uh movie theater arcades. Oh, what's it called? Oh shoot, what's it called? Time Crisis, that's what it feels like. Oh my god, this feels great like Time Crisis. Oh, there's another guy. Well, you know, the thing is, I couldn't even see the guy. This feels really like Time Crisis, except without the bullshit reload. Well, not the bullshit reloading, but without the, uh. Without the whole, um. You have a limit to the special weapons. 
I'm gonna sw switch back to the Lugers, because... Wait a minute! We never used that last replica Luger. Huh. What the heck was up with that? I'm gonna have to figure out if I missed something then. Oh well. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh no! No, 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 no! I realized that was a bad idea. It's like, ah, let's use the weakest of her. Well, I don't know if the, uh, the looters are actually weak or not. I only got to use them, like, once and for a few seconds, so. Die, zombie! <laughs> Oh man, this this completely turned around my opinion of the game. Like, I know it was like, well, I like it, but it could have been better. Like, oh my god, this is fantastic. Because that's so much more replayability than I thought it was going to have. But he left. Also, I realized that uh, when I was playing Claire in this area, I, I, I left some shotgun shells, but it doesn't really matter, because... We didn't even need them, come on. Had, like, 20 shells left. Yeah, they were, they were like, right over here in this locker. I didn't even know this locker was here. Does it, it didn't even look like a locker at first. Oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> ah, it's fun, it's fun. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Because I went to the first door on the left. Oh, it's not really that branching, I guess, but... It's still kind of cool. I still get to choose which way I want to go. I'm just using the Magnum because I don't want to spend time actually fighting the guys. I just want to get through and see what the... I want to see what, like, does this just keep going forever? Does it just keep popping me in random rooms throughout the game? Which, actually, now that I think about it, that's really cool, because it means it has... every room in the game just on the first disc. That's not an easy feat, because this is a very large game. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm really glad I decided to to try this out, because otherwise I would have just been like, eh, battle game, whatever. <laughs> I don't need that, whatever. Alright, so I gotta decide how I gotta fight that uh, exploding zombie, because, um... If I shoot him while I'm right next to him... Okay! If I shoot him while I'm right next to him, that's gonna kill me, right? Because he's gonna blow up. Unless... Unless I can do a branching path. Hmm. Maybe. Because it's into the, uh... The armory room? Yeah, there's no, uh, way to tell. I'm gonna try going into the B.O.W. room, then. Now, this is the weapon room that we just came out of. Don't wanna miss that green herb. Whoa! Alright. Uh, let's just use you, actually. Might as well just top off our health. Yeah, I'm gonna try going in here, then. Nope, locked. Okay, let's try the other door that would usually lead to the moth lair. I'm surprised there wasn't a moth boss in this as well. Okay, so we've only got that way to go. Hopefully he doesn't blow up right in our face. Oh, okay, he didn't actually blow up right in our face. That's cool. This was the guy, right? I think so. Nope, okay. Hmm. So is this actually, like... Do people like this or not? Like, I, I gotta... I don't know. Because for me, it's like, oh my god, it's my master. I could not totally understand if other people were like, uh, well, I kind of wish they just put more, uh, Code Veronica in the game. Is that it? Haha! -ha! I know your tricks game. I know you too well. <laughs> Quick on the draw! That really is too easy, but like I said, I just want to see what the entirety of the battle game looks like. I don't really care about showing off my elite skills, yo. Home slices. It's really more like, I know all these. It's really, it's really more like, oh man, I saw all these, ga these places in the game. Now I can see them in first person. It's like taking a walking tour of the It's like a walking museum of the game, actually. Well, let's do the eyeball puzzle. See, I thought the compound on the island in both Chris's and Claire's was fantastic, but... Antarctic base? Mm, not so much. I could have actually done without most of it. Whoa, jeez. Okay, so they've got the 180 spin as well. <laughs> I think I was trying to... I hit run and down, because for some reason I thought that was going to let me... Uh, I thought that was going to let me aim down and see what was there, but... Ah, no! I totally didn't see that coming! <laughs> oh, no, I do, I do really like the military compound in the first part. 
That part is really cool. Oh man, we're gonna hit it big. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Oh, we can... <laughs> what? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You see, we don't allow customers to do that. Okay, so if I want those, I will either have to um, use up healing items or just... Well, that's all I have, actually. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can use the blue herb. Okay. I want to try those out. I never got a, enough time to play around with them in the first game. I also just want to see what they're going to look like in first person. Oh my god, I got to see what the f knife looks like in first person. Char! Uh, it's kind of lame. Like the knife is. Uh, I'm not gonna actually going to try it against enemies because I'll die really quickly that way. Oh, they're, they're actually presented. Okay. Um just back out. Hello, sir. Would you like a table? <laughs> I guess back out. Come on. What? Waiting for some, like, really badass enemy to come across me. Oh, that way's open. Yes. No. Uh... This way. Unless this is the way we just came. <laughs> In that case, whoops. <laughs> oh no, it's a different place. This is the, uh... Oh man! Cocoroso! And gumball! My favorite flavors of Coca-Cola and, uh... Gumballs. Yeah! Take that, you son of a bitch. You know, I, oh jeez, jeez, no, 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 I know those guys are poisoned. <laughs> are we poisoned? No. But that was... I should have just shot at it. I shouldn't have panicked. <laughs> oh, it's, it is really fun. Aha! This here. Oh no! <laughs> it's, get, it's losing its charm about now because we don't have to worry about ammo conservation or anything like that. It's just literally shoot the enemies. Come on. Shoot the enemies in the area. Go forward. But, eh, whatever. It was a nice snack. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Everything slowed down a little bit right there. A little bit too much for the game to handle. Oh, did that just kill all of them? Eh, I guess so. This way! No. It's not Chris's scenario, I guess. Uh, this way? No. Straight outside, then. Oh, man, can we fight the rockworm? Please tell me we can fight the rockworm. That would be perfect. Nope, we're back inside. Well, that's okay, I guess. Oh, we're in the Steve room. The one that we found the grenade launcher. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, I was really hoping there was a grenade launcher. All my dreams would have come true. I switched back to the Magnum, didn't I? Ooh, no, I'm not switching back to the other things for you guys. I know better than that. Which way do you think? Hey! Mr. Fish! <gasps> no! <laughs> they got Mr. Fish! All is lost. I'm just gonna give up now. Nothing left to live for. 
Yeah, why not? It's not like we're taking that much damage anyway. So is this literally just keep going until you die? Oh! Well, hello, Alexia. How's it going? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. How are we doing? Uh, we're still fine. I'm just gonna keep unloading the magnum on her. Oh, maybe it's now time. No, we're still fine. Oh, okay, there she there she goes. In her uh her very uh majestic form. No. Oh. Is the uh BOW linear launcher out? No. Okay. Guess we can't use that against her. This is really strange because I can't see her either. Oh! Yeah, I knew that was coming. Uh, still in caution, okay. Can we... Okay. Oh, okay. I'm switching back to the Magnum because I'm terrible with this thing. Aha! I sort of know your pattern, except obviously not, because I just got hit by you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I really want to fight the first Alexia like this, though. Oh, come... I thought I was safe because I was under her. We're gonna die. Very, very soon. That's okay. It seems like I'm not even hitting her. Yeah, one more hit and I'll actually heal. Oh! I want to see if I can actually beat her without the uh, linear launcher or what. Oh, run, run, run. Two, three, four. Okay, run. One, two, three, four. See, I know what to listen for. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'm gonna try with the shotgun. Might work. Like, again, the thing is, I don't know if I'm hitting her or not. Two, three, four. Can I just... <laughs> no, I've got... I must defeat the monster. No other way. No, that's aiming low. Okay, that's hitting her, so I do have to aim up. Two, three, four. I can see blood, so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can see blood spurting from her in this, this way. One, two, three, four. What a fitting way to end the episode. Fighting Alexia once again. I'm gonna switch back to this then. Maybe I am hitting her when I aim up. One, two, three, four. Can't tell. One, two, three, four. I'm switching back to the shotgun because I know that's actually hitting her. See? I'm getting none of that with the magnum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to aim 
as best I can at her. It's just that when I'm aiming up, it doesn't seem to want to readjust or anything, even if I'm pulling L. Two, three, four. Ah, oh, there we go! Alright, is that it? Are we done with the battle game, or do we move on to the next one? No, I th I, that's it. <laughs> oh. Code Veronica. You. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> oh, now I want to play Sega, ba Sega Bass Fishing. Oh my god. All right, everybody. This has been me, Oxfu, and this has been the last episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. And what can I say? We caught ourselves a big one. I know it's been long, I know it's been tedious, I know it's been rough looking, watching me play it and not knowing what I'm doing for half the game, but thank you for staying with me through all of this. I do plan on continuing the blind Resident Evil series at some point. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be playing next. Don't worry. I've got ideas. I've got plans. But for now, this game is over. That being said, I've got two other Resident Evil blind LPs that if you've never seen them, I suggest at least checking out the first one. I'm gonna plug myself but you know what? I made it through this game. And those were some hard boss fights at the end, so I think I deserve it a little. Especially that last boss fight. That was a fight to remember. It was just me and him. I had the rod, he had the waves. A fight I'll never forget. <laughs> I got drawn in by the music for a minute there. <laughs> anyway. I have nothing left to say, actually. Except I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed Let's Playing it. I wouldn't have done it any other way. I'll just leave you guys with this picture. For the next few minutes. Ah, uh, who the hell am I kidding? I want to see what Claire's is. Oh, E. <laughs> Wesker is available. Oh, this keeps getting better and better. Oh my God, what does Wesker have? Just the knife. Oh my God.